house of refuge, and this is Jim. He's the keeper of the house. And uh, Jim, can you tell us a little bit about this house? Uh, what was its original purpose? This house was built in 1875. It's one of the ten houses of refuge that were built on the east coast of Florida by the federal government. The federal government was trying to respond to a problem that they had here in, on the east coast of Florida, and that is what to do with shipwrecked sailors. Florida was very undeveloped, and so it was almost a death sentence if a sailor washed up on the beaches here surviving a shipwreck. So these houses were built to provide temporary refuge as the name implies. And, and you can't see it right now, but the Gulf Stream is it's right on the beach. You can hear it. Um, it's only two miles out. So this was a major superhighway. For hundreds of years, I've always uh, described it as a, as a superhighway for sailing ships. And you can envision it when you look out there and see the Spanish galleons, the, the U.S. trade mission ships, that traveled here for hundreds of years. And unfortunately, because of the hurricanes and weather that we have here, shipwrecks occurred. And the survivors landed up on this part of the beach. And now there's one very notorious pirate who used to hang out here. His name was Don Pedro Gilbert. Yes. And this place is actually called Gilbert's Bar. And no, you can't get near here. But a bar is actually like, like a show. This, this part of Hutchinson Island is actually it's a tiny sliver of land between uh, the Indian River Lagoon and the Atlantic Ocean. So Gilbert, you said, used to put up bonfires on the beach to trick the Spanish ships or the any French ship, ship any ship, thinking that they were their shipwreck survivors here. And then they would come in and... Uh, he would attack wreck. them, loot the ships, and do the things that pirates do. Yeah. And. Um, mentioned that Gilbert was the last pirate executed in the United States. He was not a nice guy. No, Gilbert was finally caught by the U.S. Navy and the British Navy up in the North Atlantic and brought to trial in the Boston Navy Yards and was found guilty of piracy and executed in about 19, 1894. And they actually hung him. In, at the yeah, public gallows yeah. in the, uh, Boston Army. Work this area. Work this area. And um, so, the House of Refuge, is it open to the public every day? We are a public museum. We are open seven days a week uh, from about 10 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon, except on Sunday we're open from 1 until 4. We do have a, a slight uh, admission fee which pays for the maintenance and upkeep of this historical building. I'm telling you, this is really worth it, and uh, uh, there are no condos here, it's, it's completely, it looks deserted, and it's beautiful, it's a completely natural beach, with a natural dune and vegetation. Let me I point out one other thing, the grounds, we didn't talk about this, but the grounds here at the House of Refuge have been an ongoing project of the Martin County Master Gardeners, and all the basin plants have been removed, and in its place has been sea grasses, native Floridian plants that are all native to the seacoast part. And it's a beautiful thing just to tour the area of the grounds. Yeah, I have to tell you, this is probably one of the prettiest Florida beaches I've ever seen. It's we so think so, too. To be here. Thank you very much, Jim. Thank you.